Hi, my name's Matthew Pearson from Zone One Hearing in London. And I'm Lee Fletcher from Regan Hearing in South East London. And today we'd like to talk to you about the audio service Mood Leon 16 G5, which isn't a mouthful at all. No. Um, where are they from, Matthew? They're from Germany, and I thought they were quite efficient, really. Very but... functional there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look. Let's crack on. So, yeah. quite a nice casing, actually. And, uh, Indeed. It's got a certain logo on there. I, I think that Maybe could be true. Yeah the, yeah, the sleeve may have become misplaced, but yeah. we can actually have, have those custom printed, which is a nice quite feature. Quite a nice feature, yeah. yeah so, yeah. it's decent packaging, quite a nice way the bank magnet yeah. makes that click together. So, yeah, we little, like, win we like the little window to see what's inside, inside as well. Nice. Yeah, it's good. So, um, I'll get the hearing aids out. Um, so, they're normally known for their custom products. They are indeed. Yeah, been on the go since the 1970s. Started with custom products, but um, have been making some fantastic um, receiver of the canal products as well recently. Yeah. People don't tend to know much about audio service as a brand, uh, mm. which is part of the reason we wanted to review them. Yeah, um, yeah. A bit of awareness. And we quite like these products. We really do, yeah. Um, so, they're not the smallest ones no. in the industry. Um, but that doesn't tend to matter so much. They wrap around the ears, a nice little design. Yeah. So that doesn't matter. Uh, nice really. ergonomic shape, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good so range of colours. There's a lot of features in these. Hello, We've been lot, yeah. looking at the features. They've not been out that long. Um, no, great but there's features. some fantastic things. Should we go, what should we start with? Yeah, well, I think, I mean, n again, not the catchiest name for this feature, but it's called Occlumatic. I love so that name. I, I do, yeah. I think it comes from occlusion or feeling plugged up. So one of the very first things that happens when a patient has a hearing aid in for the first time, almost before you say, how does your voice sound? Oh, no, my voice sounds really funny. We've always had that. Since always dawn had that. of time, exactly. patients do not like the sound of their own voice when they yeah. first wear hearing aids. Or if you change mm. them from one set of hearing aids to another set, it's always a problem. Yeah. And with these, um, I just assumed that Occlumatic would reduce my own voice. So very similar to occlusion control. Had this happen with a chap yesterday, I turned on occlusion control and I said, how does your voice sound? And rather predictably say, sorry, what did you say? Because I've turned him down, but I've also turned me down. Now with the Occlumatic feature, what happens? And I've had a demonstration. Yeah, very nice. Fits well. Yeah, it does. Had a demonstration of this for myself um, with the representative for this company. You count from 21 upwards quite loudly and effectively the hearing aid hears you and sort of takes away your voice. So when the feature was turned on, just my voice was a lot more pleasant and there were some additional benefits apart from that. You acceptance. can see it on the screen. You can see it on so the screen, it's it, great. It tells you, it's a little green tick. Now yeah. this at the moment, I've, I've put this in to sort of demonstrate how it looks and it's not mm. bad, you know? Um, mm. But this is very slightly occluding my voice as in I can sort of hear my own voice a little bit, um, yeah. which patients don't tend to like. Yeah. And when you switch the hearing aid on, that's when we run that feature. Exactly. And, and one of the really key features about the Occlumatic feature that, you know, maybe isn't known is that when we have this feature active, we can actually close the fit down. So we've got a slightly occluding or closing dome here. What that does is means the hearing aid features are way, way more effective. So as an example, there was a recent study done where people with a variety of losses were fitted with open and closed fitting domes and the people preferred open domes. Here's the problem. All those features in the hearing aids, are, I wouldn't say they're negated, but they're minimized. So things like noise reduction, things like directionality are nowhere near as effective. Noise gets in. Noise gets in. If you get in. an open dome, yeah. noise gets in and people don't like hearing noise. You can sharpen up the sound, but mm. they still hear the noise. Yeah. This does allow you to prevent some of that noise getting in. You're in more control. Because of the features we just mentioned, yeah, yeah. Um, we can take away some of the unusual effects that you get from other hearing aids when you block them up. So it's yeah. a unique feature. Yeah. Um, and it does allow us to give them much better speech in noise, which is one complaint we yeah. get is that you can't hear well in noise. Well, with these, it, it really is a, a clever feature that makes a massive difference when you're trying to have a conversation when you're out and about in a noisy place. Yeah, and um, again, during that same demonstration, this was shown to me. So the smartphone app was downloaded. I had the hearing aids on so that the gentleman who was providing the demonstration said to me, what do you hear? And we were standing out on a busy street, so cars coming from multiple directions and it was pouring down with rain and I could mainly hear the water coming off the tyres as well as hearing his speech, so quite distracting. He took the phone, slid across into a very narrow beam 
and it was all of a sudden like he turned off the cars and I just heard his voice. Like blinkers, so, so in a narrow beam oh. we mean just the person in front of you, all this noise kind of disappears in the background. Yeah, and, Clever. and what it is, you've got four microphones but they're constantly swapping information, so it forms like an eight microphone array and it talks to your smartphone as well, so it allows the position of the person to be known and allows that narrow beam or open type sound to be provided by the hearing aid and it is automatic but you can if you wish as, a, as we did in the demonstration slide it into a narrow beam so you've either got the kind of plug and play fully automatic sort of way of using them or if you like to interact with your hearing aids you can do that and too. the phone this is where it gets yeah. a little confusing and again mm. this hasn't been seen in the industry which is why mm. we're talking about audio service mm. um, there's another manufacturer that does it a, a similar mm. thing mm. Um, so just to describe it it uses basically the phone's interactivity mm. so the phone constantly knows what we do where we are yeah. and what sort of environments we're in the phone translates some of that to the hearing aids yeah, so if yeah. you if you're moving the phone's saying to the hearing aids, oh, I'm moving. Yeah, so yeah. it puts it into a different type of setting, like in the car, for example, yeah. or walking down a busy high street. Yeah. It gives you some information back that you wouldn't get from anything else, what mm. do most of us have on us with our smartphones? Exactly. Giving us nice information. Yeah, so the example would be, if you're walking down a high street talking about what you've seen in the shop window, you're probably not face to face with the other person, but the hearing aid knows that, hey, the person's on your side, it's noisy, but they're over here. So the hearing aid will swing into a, a narrow beam over here to lock into the speech. If you've got a carer behind you and you're in a wheelchair, it will notice that the speech coming from behind you and lock onto cab their speech. Driver. Cab driver, exactly. You're facing the wrong way when yeah. you're trying to talk to people. Yeah, zooming out the window, <laughs> cutting off the people. So great feature. No, there's nothing like that. We, yeah. We're geeking out as usual, mm. but it, it's giving us something that we've never had before mm. that we can control on our computers mm. and provide to people so that they get just the clearest and the best sound, which is what it's all about. Yeah. And, and I mean, an, another thing which is, it doesn't sound that important, not that sexy. We're going to talk about the batteries or lack of. So I don't know if you've got the little Let's charging go, unit yeah. over Next there. Next to me is yeah. a little charger. Should we keep it here? It should be Let's to the shop. Let's keep it there, yeah. So this is different. So all I'm going to do is place these hearing aids on charge. Yeah. So I'm going to put one there and one there haphazardly. Now yeah. these begin to charge. One slightly yeah. different angle from the other. The battery's flashing away there. So there's rechargeable battery, lithium ion, hence the long name in the intro. It's now charging up. So yeah. very cleverly, you, you don't even have to really think about it when you're putting no. it in, like some chargers. Some of them, you know, you've got a bit of dirt on the contact. Oh, it didn't charge. Sorry about that. You didn't quite line it up properly or it wasn't clicked into place. There have been some systems in the past that haven't worked it's been that well. kind of in its infancy, rechargeable. Yeah. We've been reluctant in some cases to offer mm, it to some mm. people. If you think, oh, their eyesight's not great either. Yeah. Or yeah, if they haven't put it correctly in the charger, yeah. it doesn't charge. And guess what? Next day they don't hear anything because they've got to recharge their hearing aid properly. Or they've taken it out thinking it's going to switch on and they've got to press a button for quite oh, a long time. Auto switch on, yeah. yeah. So these, I take them out to put them in, it's that simple and they, they're on. Right now they Fantastic. are on. Fantastic. Clever stuff. So what we're all about here is ease of use. The hearing aid adapts automatically to the environment, they switch on when you take them out, they charge when you pop them into the charger. and They connect to the phone. They connect to and the phone. And also stream yeah. from the phone. Which yep, we haven't so made you mention, these are no. made for iPhone hearing aids. Yeah. So they will also stream to your iPhone. Mm. They can use Android with a little clip yep, if you exactly. want to. So, yeah. so this is an example. This is from a rival manufacturer, but guess what? It looks exactly the same in a slightly different colour. This is multi-purpose. Remote control, remote mic, so give that to the person you're trying to talk to or pop on a table. Or if you want to take a phone call completely without having to go and pick the phone up, just press the button when you hear it ringing in the hearing aids with your Android phone and you get the phone call straight in your ears. And then with the iPhone, you could still use this to provide the remote mic, but guess what? Within the iPhone, you can triple press the home button and you've got these series of options, one of which is to use the iPhone as a remote mic. So you're in a meeting, pop that down the table, receive the signal into There's the There's so much aids. to talk about with so these hearing aids. There's more yeah. detail with these than the yeah. most products we've spoken about. TV Another accessory. TV streamer. Yeah. Again, looks very like a couple of competitors, but these just work. You pair them once, you access it from the menu. It's like putting on a premium set of headphones. You move around, you still get the news at 10 or match of the day, whatever you're watching, beam straight, straight into your hearing, into aids. The hearing aids. Yeah. Last feature, okay. um, telecare. 
Awesome. So this yeah. is something we've spoken about with another manufacturer, similar thing. Yeah. And um, we've said it a few times before, but it is such a good yeah. feature. So essentially you have a way to control the hearing aids from the office. Just yeah. by, um, if somebody's not happy with the sound, for example, they mm. can just send a notification to us. Yeah. We receive that and within minutes, we could actually reprogram their hearing aid from mm. our office, yeah. which is so many applications. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> so, I mean, again, as usual, there are many more features we could talk about. I'll briefly just mention 48 channels, some yeah. of the rival products. 48. 15, 16, 17 channels. 48 channels means more control over the noise, over the directionality and the various Quality of sound features. as well. Quality of sound. But yeah, I mean, rather than turn it into a feature length video. I, I think would we've done it already. I think we've done it already. I would suggest <laughs> if you're looking at a premium hearing instrument at the moment and you're not quite sure which way to go, definitely have these on your shortlist. Speak to your independent audiologist and, and give these a try. I don't think you'd be disappointed. That will do us, I think. Yeah. So this is Matthew from Zone 1 Hearing. Lee from Regain Hearing. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. So if you have, please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments will be welcome. And notifications. The notifications yes. so um, you can hear us ramble on about hearing aids in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.